What's up, anglers? I'm Jake, and I'm here with Tiger Hoffman, the president of uh, South Shore Anglers Fishing Club. And um, today I'm going to be showing you how to do the loop knot with fluorocarbon. Let me ask you a question real quick. What do you like to use the loop knot for specifically? So, like, I like to use it for topwaters and, mm -hmm. like you said, live bait. So I'll use, like, this Paul Brown right? just to get, like, the good action and jig heads and I guess spoons you can use that. You can use it for spoons but sometimes people like to put swivels on them because it mm -hmm. helps that they're not tangly. Yeah. But yeah the, it does work extremely well. The best thing that I've seen about those loop knots is one it, live bait hooks is a really good because it allows that bait to sit there and really have better action. The jig heads really work well because you want that jig head when you sit there and pick it up and go down it actually gives it a little bit more movement makes it look a little bit more realistic. But it's great. Let's see what you got. Okay. So I'm using the practice weight that can be found in your uh, angling for a leaf dry kit. Which makes it a lot safer. There's no hooks attached. That way you can really practice it like that. And you can tighten your knot without getting a treble hook stuck in your hand. Exactly. Now what kind of line do you want to sit there and ha let them practice with? Um, well, they can use really anything. Braid, mm -hmm. um, mono, fluoro. But we do have, in the dry kit, we have a, um, we, we have, um, like a spot to tie knots right. with a paracord so it's just like bigger and easier to move. It doesn't have that memory. And then allow them to sit there and move down. <clears throat> so at the same time, the biggest thing that you're going to tie that loop knot with, especially if you're in salt water, is going to be your leader knot, which it can be those clear lines. It doesn't depend, depend it, there's different levels, different sizes of that leader line. So you can start off bigger, but the paracord is probably the best way to sit there and really yeah. get practice in using it. And then as they go, you're going to want to really sit there and practice with that fluorocarbon or whatever type of leader line you like to use because the thinner it is, one is better the type of fishing that you're doing. It can go all the way up to sometimes 40 pounds. Again, it's the size of fish that you're really going for, but you can practice and that's pretty much the line that you're gonna really use to tie on those lures. Go ahead. Okay, so the first, the first thing, you don't even need your lure for this part, is you need to tie just a simple, don't even know what this knot's called, but just, no, but the first knot, like the, I don't even know what that's called. <laughs> Just like the first knot you do. When it's you tie a, it's your part of the loop knot, so it's the a loop. First You're tying the loop. Yeah. In the Just original part of the line. Just a normal loop. And then put it through the eye. The biggest thing is that once you've done tying that loop, you want to leave it. We call this the tag end, so make sure you have enough line on that tag end to do the rest of that loop knot like you yep. want to do. And so after that, you need to put the tag end through the loop that you made, the first loop, and then pull that through until it's just about touching that uh, the eye. And then you're going to take this tag line and wrap it around three to five times. Three times is typically the best because you do five times, it's, it, there's more Big visibility knot, yeah. to it. It also depends, again, the size of the leader line that you're using. Yeah. The bigger the leader line, the less. Correct. And then, once you have those three, well, I have two, but uh, then you take this tag line and you put it through the original hole. And then. It's just a matter of tightening it and seeing how big you want it to be. Well, that's a little too big. I like it smaller, but... Really, again, it depends. That bigger loop knot really gives it more action, mm -hmm. so it can help. That size is a perfect loop knot, because especially if you're using a jig head, especially if you're using live bait, because, again, it gives that little bit more action because it allows that hook to move more with that eyelet. But, no, that's a perfect loop knot. Good job.